Hey everybody, it's Asher Game Club time, and today you are getting beaten over the head with Terror of the Hemosaurus. It is one of the best demo Steam Next Fest games I have played. It's been in beta for a while, and it is just released, straight up released in 1.0 version B. And you know what? It was good then, and it's good now. This is a game I highly recommend. If you want to get in on the ground floor with it, it is on a very reasonable discount, about 10 US dollars. Can't say for sure about the uh, pr pricing in your local area. But you get a lot of value here. It is local co-op where you get to play as any of these adorable monsters. The Hemosaurus, the Autonomous Hemosaurus, Clock Sloth, or Salamandra. And you get to lay waste to buildings Rampage style. Now we are going to be playing as the Hemosaurus today. We're going to be playing Arcade Story Mode. There is also Endless Destruction Mode. If you just want to play a game sometimes where you just want to break stuff and like punt a police car and eat a civilian and punch buildings down. That's good. We're going to play the story mode because the writing in this game is also pretty damn hilarious. So we're going to go into that here. I haven't played this since the Steam Next Fest demo. I intentionally wanted to stay in the dark about it. I will tell you though, as popular as kaiju monsters with the kids are nowadays, and I do mean younger children here, this game does have a lot of content that is not necessarily kid friendly. That said, my kids love this game. Anyway, we're just going to do a new game. We are, um, you know what? We're actually going to do the tutorial. Um, so let's sit here. I don't know if that's going to go through all this. So July 16th, 2030, Slarbard, Norway. Moderator says, welcome back to the debate stage. To my left, we are joined by the world's leading climate scientist, Hans Pissenschlaft. And to my right, we have international fat cat, Richie Horderson. The heir to the Paluticorp fortune. Yes, it's very, it's very on the nose here. So hands, hands piss and shaft. We must act now. The polar ice caps are melting as we speak. Climate change will unleash terror upon this planet. Richie Horderson. Well, now I ain't no fancy pants scientist like yourself. I'm just a regular Joe. But how is a little melting ice going to unleash all this terror? I think you are making a monster out of a molehill. Well, maybe it's uh, something else, but who knows what terrors might be unleashed by the melting ice caps. Maybe a virus or worse. And the idiom is making a mountain out of a mole hill. Either way, the folks watching at home can rest easy. Climate change ain't no scary monster coming to unleash terror upon mankind. Or is it? See, this is very exciting because the original Godzilla, the premise behind the old Japanese movie was that we didn't have to have terrible lizards like this. It was just humans fucking things up. So here we are. The economy is what really matters. Climate change ain't gonna affect the folks watching at home. Maybe. Maybe it won't. Maybe it will. I mean, famous last words from the famous mouthpiece of the Horderson family. A few days later, on a remote island, we have our cultist here. Remember the cultist. We have our dinosaur shaking its butt. Because this is obviously how you break out of an ice cube. If you're ever concerned or trapped in ice, you just gotta shake your butt. So, Shepherd of the Holy Lizard. We have been anticipating your arrival, Hemosaurus. We are the Church of the Holy Lizard. Our members have taken an oath under penalty of death to perform a sacred duty. Our sacred duty is to save humanity from its own reckless disregard for the planet. You see, human brains are hardwired to prioritize only dangers that exist in the present. This means humanity will not act with appropriate urgency to save the planet. Your presence is proof of that and proof that our church will succeed in upholding its sacred duty. In order to save humanity, we must develop a time machine. We are already testing some prototypes. Allow me to perform a demonstration for you. Here we go. Time machine and bloop. As you can see, it still has some issues. We can send uh, most of the person's soft tissues back to a past date, but we are still struggling a bit with the person's bones. Anyway, using a time machine and other future technology, we created you and sent you to the past, or rather, we will, to be buried deep in the polar ice cap set to melt just before it's too late to save the planet. That time has come for you to be pre a present danger that will motivate humanity to act. You know, beyond all the hurricanes, wildfires, mass extinctions, heat waves, disease outbreaks, floods, and such. In order to save the human race, you must kill their families, destroy their homes, and inflict terror upon them. Would you like to take the tutorial? It is highly recommended. Of course I will. Alright, let us begin. 
Our research indicates time travel combined with prolonged freezing can result in some unintended effects. So we set up this training course so you can perform some basic tests to determine your capabilities. First, we want to test your climbing abilities. Climb the top of that lighthouse and then return to your starting position. Use those keys and then press this to leap on the building. At the top, you can press space plus S to jump down. Holding S while airborne will prevent climbing. This is useful for quickly jumping off a building, surprise an enemy, or navigate an obstacle. So, here we are, we're moving. So, so nice. We're already, we're already destroying things. But there we go, we're gonna climb. We're at the top. Okay, we gotta, we gotta do it their way. So, S plus space, there we go. Nicely done, I am glad to see your movement hasn't been affected. I mean, if you couldn't do this, there would be no hope for you nor for humanity. Were you, you were frozen for quite a long time. You must be very hungry. Well, good news. Finley over here has decided to make the most wonderful sacrifice a person can make for the environment. And for you, it would make Finley rather happy if you ate him. Wait, what? What did you say? Eating people will restore health points and power you up. You see, people are actually the most green choice a person or monster can make for food. Eating a person da drastically reduces their carbon footprint. Hey, we talked about this in Stardust, didn't we? That is why we are strict cannibals. Press number pad one to eat. Now go, Finley. Wait, I changed my mind. I don't want to be as crazy cold anymore. I just joined yesterday. Oh, look at the look at the guns here. So we can eat. So I do like the Wasad plus number pad controls here. No, please don't. Delicious. You made Finley very happy. Hooray. Now you must learn how to destroy people's homes. They must know they aren't safe anywhere. The Church of the Holy Lizard built this simulated structure just for you to destroy. Hop on the building and start punching away by pressing number pad zero. If the section you're climbing on is destroyed, you will, will reflexively jump. A building is most durable at its base and become structurally weaker. The higher you climb, try to make the building topple for quick destruction. Don't worry about destroying every last piece. Once it is mostly destroyed, that is fine. Oh, and to increase the simulation's authenticity, a number of new recruits are presently sleeping inside the building. I am sure they will be pleasantly surprised to play an important role upholding the church's sacred duty. Now go destroy the building. So this is how we falcon punch. Look, we have all these people here. We can eat the people, just like so. Look, they're all just awake. Now, how we, how we end up doing this at the end is... Um, Let's see, let's try to jump down real quick, there we go. We have the base of the building down here, and one of the really nice moves in this game is just making shit topple over. Fantastic, it gives me so much pleasure to see the sparkle of terror in the eyes of new recruits. They didn't all die. And an enemy, when an enemy is right in front of you, press number pad 3 to kick them into the air. You can aim the direction you kick people and other things by using Wasad. Fortunately, we have a group of eager devotees willing to let you hone your kicking skills on them. In exchange, we promise to use the time machine to acquire a past version of them and replant them in this timeline. Though between you and me, I'm not sure that's even possible. But anyway, get kicking. So, look! Punt! And then we can push up to punt upwards, and we can push to the side to punt to the side. Get over here, get over here, there we go. Wow! Some of those new recruits hit the ground so hard they can't even tell who they are anymore. I guess maybe we should have gotten a list of their names beforehand. Oh well. It's important that youth understand they will not be spared in a climate catastrophe. That is why the Church of the Holy Lizard has a youth outreach program. After all, children are our most valuable resource. For example, you can pick people up and throw them as an offensive weapon. This is great for hitting enemies and distance and enemies that are flying. Press S and number th pad 3 to pick up a person. Then press any button to throw them. <clears throat> and then you can aim the usual way. Now go practice your throwing skills and try to hit the targets. So, hello, tiny person. Okay. Try a little harder. Okay. So this is where I was originally going to play with the controller. And then my controller said, you know what, I don't have a battery. So we're going to use the keyboard here. Although this is apparently controller friendly as well. So that's, that's good. Come on, we're going to make a good, we're going to make a good parabola here. Okay, we're just going to throw you. Oh wait, you know what, maybe I can... Nicely done, it's wonderful to see the youth contributing so much to averting the climate crisis. You might be wondering by now, how can all this killing be justified? Well, is killing in self-defense justified? If so, consider all this to be in defense of the human race. 
I don't want to kill people. Sure, it may give me a special kind of joy that I've never before experienced, but the real joy comes from knowing that through death, I am promoting life. Well, I mean, at least we know that he's the bad guy. Speaking of self-defense, the next skill you must practice is the Atomic Butt Slam. While airborne, press and hold S and number pad 1 until you crash onto the ground below. This is a great way to surprise enemies on the ground. If you jump from high enough, the ability will impact with extra power. This man here we have restrained. Do you know what he did? Nothing. Yet we have selected him to die. According to calculations by our church's inner universal sacred geometers, for every life we take, we save at least 10 future lives. So I want you to save 10 future lives by taking this one with an atomic butt slam. Well, I guess I guess I can get behind that. So we're on the building. We're on the building. Let's see, we got to do... There we go. Easy to get too focused on all the killing. We are also saving lives. You just can't see it yet. Your training is complete for now. There's still much to learn, so keep experimenting. This is also predicted that you possess a powerful ultimate ability capable of extreme levels of destruction. But we cannot teach you that. You must discover it for yourself. Now we must plan your first attack. So, where are we going? Northport, Long Island. Well, what a lovely place. Kill 50 humans and 50% of destruction here. It's time to introduce humanity to your terror. Kill a minimum of 50 humans and destroy 50% of the town. Like I said, this is... Oh, we just ate that. We just ate our cult person. Holy shit! What the fuck is that? Yeah, there we go. We're punting. We're eating. We're punching. And this is this is the name of the game. This is Terror of the Hemosaurus. We have a building full of people that's now falling over. It all it all feels very nice. We have people dropping out of buildings like flies. What a what a happy day. Okay. And interestingly, my little ultimate meter is not charging right now. So I guess because we're in the story, we're not we're not going to be able to do the other thing yet. So I'm punting when I'm trying to eat. All right, so delicious, delicious humans. We have we have destroyed the bottom of your building, and there you go. Punt, punt, punt. We're gonna even destroy the fast mart because and sludge burger. Eat sludge burger or else. Look, we have a car that we just kicked into a building. That's pretty good. Could even destroy that building just a little more. There we go. Everybody just fall out. Thirty-six percent destroyed. Now this time we're going to try to do something a little different here. We're just going to casually punch this building out in the lower corner here. Now I always had a systematic way I like to do things playing the original Rampage on NES, but here just knocking a building into another building. It just feels so good. Oh wow, we just we just kicked these people really really high up. Like humans, what a what a great resource. But you see here we're at 99 deaths. We're overachieving right now. That's, I guess, we're, we're really going for good grades here. Here's the police. Bye-bye, police. We just turned this into an M building. So we may as well fix that up. It's nice that we didn't just kick the police car, but we kicked it through the building here. So that's all going to fall down, and then this is all going to fall down. And I guess Long Island was not the best place to move. Okay, let's see if I can do this here. Okay, we already won. There we go. Fatalities. We took two minutes to do that. We only did $5 million in financial damage. So, hooray. Stage two, structural failures. When done correctly, it is possible to get buildings to topple onto one another for maximum destruction. To get a building to topple, target its weak spot on the correct side. Okay, thanks. Your work here is done. I mean, we literally just talked about this, so it's fine. Okay. Hey, y'all. Everybody's running away. You guys, too. Delicious. Cook, serve, delicious. Dinosaur edition. Okay, it's the police. They just got... They just got booted. So, who's gonna save people from this? I don't know. Like, the, the point of the game is that you're a monster and you're destroying stuff. And, I mean, what more can you really ask for than that? I mean, maybe we could get a burger over here. You can see that people are exploding into viscera. So it's flesh, bones. It's not that different from sending them back in time. There goes the sludge burger. There goes double the building damage. 
And then here's a giant apartment building that we may be able to crash something else into here. Alright, so let's try. Make it, make it rain a building. There we go. We almost did good. Okay. Punt some humans. Now, if you punch these buildings in the middle, it does kind of collapse on itself in the middle. So we don't always want that. We'll let those people be there. Somebody needs to survive to spread the message. Can I punch out this traffic light? Yes. Hefty Mart. You know, that's one of the great things about uh, the current pollution problems in the world, is that a lot of it is an issue with the chain of distribution. Like, we have all this stuff getting shipped out across the world by um, tankers and stuff that make a way more pollution than individual users are, and yet who's made to feel guilty here? So, it's interesting that this dinosaur punchy boy here is really targeting individual people to see if they can um, get their acting gear, but I'd really love to throw an oil tanker at some point. Well, maybe not oil tanker, but something here. Bonus stage, race to 75% destruction. I'm sure if I had some cool hacks, I could do this a little bit better. So there we go. 7.4 seconds. Maybe if I threw some people. I need to try throwing people some more. That's something that is not in my skill repertoire. So East Northport, Long Island. Bloody red asphalt. People are fleeing in their cars. Let's teach these people a lesson about how cars are destroying the environment. By destroying their environment using their cars, you can kick cars in the buildings to quickly cause massive destruction. Okay. Okay, didn't mean to eat you. Okay. We missed we missed our first car. So we can't pick up the cars necessarily. There we go. You turned around like a moron. It's like, hey, look, big monster. Let's go again. Yeah, that's... Okay, kick. Kick. There we go. Brain hamper media. Well, I'm glad the brains are in a hamper. I'd be very concerned if someone had a dirty mind. Okay. And throw a person. Oh, look. We, we got some rough scallions here running around with their hunter gear, hunting, monster hunting. You think this is some kind of game? There we go, we're just kicking old cars. Oh, there's a nice flatbed truck. And we can kick these things higher. Look, there's a hospital. There we go, there's more police. I hope this is showing up on the recording okay, because one thing that is really worth mentioning here from a gameplay standpoint is that all of this is very smooth. There's a lot of shit going on on the screen at once. And it's, um, I've seen lots of games kind of mess up here, and, wow, you guys are really, there's so many cars on the road. Okay, we gotta, gotta kick a little bit more. There we go. So satisfying. There we go, just topple a building, topple another building, maybe. No, we actually kicked a car and it lived. All right. Look, Business Bob, you're here. Now you're not. Makes makes me think back to uh, that very, you shouldn't laugh at it, inappropriate scene in uh, Love and Monsters where, um, oh wow, that truck, I didn't even know I kicked it up in the sky so high. Uh, where like, the monsters come and attack and it shows for the first time, it's like, there's cars everywhere and they're just getting massacred here. And I shouldn't laugh, but guys, you should, you should know. All right, we have TV. Trixie Connor, we interrupt your regularly scheduled program with a late breaking news alert. Reports are coming in indicating that some sort of giant monster has attacked the town of Northport, New York. We urge you folks at home, please do not panic. We have already dispatched our news shopper to get you some juicy footage of all that carnage. We now return you to your regularly scheduled program. What's our regularly scheduled program? I'd love to know. Reign of Terror. Throw ten people into chopper blades. The news choppers are almost here. I need you to put on a special show for the cameras. Throw or kick ten people into the blades in the news chopper. And make it rain blood! Well, we're gonna start with... You. There we go. You count as a person, right? You definitely count as a person. 
Now notice that our goal isn't to destroy buildings here. We're gonna do it anyway because it's fun. But yeah, there goes all of our people. All this death, all this destruction is gonna get us so many clicks. See, that's just the commentary here. It's totally the right thing. Um, J. Jonah Jameson had it, had it right. Wow. That person somehow missed all the chopper blades. All right, so let's get, let's throw you. We, we were, we need, we need you to get in the chopper. There we go. Really, you're gonna, you're gonna shoot at me? That's a chopper. Okay, apparently it's not a chopper. Did I run out? Of, did I run out of people? That'd be a really interesting thing if it's just like we've run out of people to actually kill. There we go. More police. So we're gonna have to do this the slow way. So I guess I'm not gonna win the time attack here. Look, Grandma's over here. Guys, get back over here. Okay. How do you miss a whole chopper? Apparently by not throwing people straight up. Okay, that that person made that building blow up. I don't know what they were made of. Grandma, get up there. Come on. Nailed it. Okay. Gotta find more people. Are they in here? No, we just need two more people. Alright. So, I'm not gonna do good on my time score here, that's for sure. Welcome to stage four. I could reset. There we go. So we just gotta scroll the people back on like this is some kind of video game. Now, I could be eating some people as well. There we go. Boop. Yep. Missed. There we go. New best. Apparently, I'm not the only person that struggled with that. So here we go. Welcome back. I hope you folks have been enjoying all the grisly footage as much as we have been. The monster was last spotted leaving the ruins of Northport and heading west towards New York City. Scientists are saying that extensive melting of the polar ice caps may have unearthed the monster. Additionally, they said that even worse terrors await us as the Earth continues to melt down. Well, I don't know about you, Will, but I am really enjoying the extra long summers. Right? I think people need to look at the big picture here. Wow, you guys. I can't even get the voice right. But it's brain hamper media, so we know. The monster has only killed a few hundred people. The flu kills much more than that every year. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, it does. Anyway, now back to more grisly footage. Does this all sound way too familiar to you? Because it's very on the nose, and that's the point. Outskirts of NYC. Above the wall, kill 500 humans. Be careful, our disciples have observed increased police presence. If you find yourself low in health, don't forget to munch on some people. Kill a man of 200 humans and destroy a few people in this town. New York, New York, it's a hell of a town, I guess. You know, I was in that musical years ago, and I don't remember, I don't remember how it goes. So we'll just kick a police car, there we go. You're supposed to knock over more shit. There we go. Give it back over here, there we go. Oh, can we actually take out the chopper? That'd be nice. Fast Mart. More like Dead Mart. There goes, people. Oh, they don't count as a death until they splat on the ground. That is useful information. Get back over here, police chopper. So, we've managed to knock out a few people. There we go. There we go. That's more like it. I don't know why you are deciding to hang off a rope to try to shoot at a monster. Your little hero shit is, um, not no bueno. So this is a much bigger level. We have, we have a lot of work to do here. You can see these buildings are all falling over right now. We just need one to fall, like, really far down. And right now they're kind of holding each other up, and there we go. So see now we've we've got a we got to punch police officers we gotta gotta take a snack break. 
Did you actually just drop a missile on me? That was one of that's one of uh, our household's least favorite attacks in the old Rampage game. All right, so let's let's climb a little bit. I said let's climb a little bit. There we go. Let's get let's get up here. Punch a chopper. Don't know if I can throw a chopper. Wow, this building is still being held up. Not for long. All right, please fall. Bye bye. And we have found the police station, which we will not touch. Just kidding. We're gonna we're gonna punch it out. Cause that's the name of the game here. Don't get mad. Okay, for some somehow I zoomed in a lot, and I can't remember which button that was. I guess it's five. Okay, punch, punch another chopper here. PDNY, sorry, not sorry. Oh, I actually rode the chopper for a second. Okay, so I gotta remember to grab onto a chopper next time. Then I can figure out how I wanna do that. Okay, we can kick a chopper while it's in the air. Okay, fall please. Any day now. Okay, I have successfully made this building more stable than it already was. There we go. So see, we've only got 70-some percent destruction. And remember, we're just on the outskirts of New York City. If you've ever driven through New York City, like, even even driving through it gives you a sense of the scale of uh, how everything's spread out. It's always different, like, flying into it stuff. And uh, don't don't worry, I, I'm not... I'm watching my life bar. It's fine. But yeah, like... Shit is packed all the way just in and out of that area. But yeah, remember, 500 people is just a drop in the bucket. This is this is nothing compared to what people should be worried about. And not to mention, long summers. No more scary animals and stuff in, like, bad places. There we go. Oh, somehow we managed to two-for-one those choppers. I don't know for sure how that worked, but... I will accept that it worked and ask for a few more choppers to get into here. So there we go. More shit falling. We're at 75%. I can skip to the end if I wanted to. But we're going to go up here and we're going to punch a chopper. Let's see if we can ride the chopper. Okay, maybe, maybe not if they're doing that. Okay, I can Mario stomp on the chopper. Alright, that's a, that's a plus. Delicious. Yeah, that's always one of the questions for a lot of these uh, kaiju scenarios as well. Is um, your your military industrial complex, what is it good for in the face of something like this that can just shrug off all of your conventional weapons? Except the problem is there's nobody here for someone to say, let them fight. Instead, we just get uh, conveniently placed exit stage signs that I can punch. That's a lot of destruction. Rank 316 in the world! More television. So we're gonna try to do this here. Wit Fokker! Once again, this game is very on the nose here. Welcome back to the ongoing coverage of the giant monster attack. We understand folks at home are starting to become frightened for their safety. Trixie Connor, once again, very on the nose. Please rest assured, despite all the grisly footage, there is no reason to panic. It is safe to go outside and keep spending your money. Allow me to share with you some facts that will put your mind at ease. If you are watching this broadcast, then you have not been killed by the monster. Ha ha! Wit, you silly son of a gun! Another interesting fact. A disproportionate number of the victims come from the low-income neighborhoods. But that is precisely what makes this country so great! If you work hard, you two can live in a nice neighborhood safe from the terror of the monster. That is an excellent point, Wit. If anything, the monster is incentivizing people to succeed. Me, personally, I am excited for all the economic growth and innovation that this so-called crisis will create. This could be the next trillion dollar industry. Well, there you have it, folks. You shouldn't be panicking, if anything. People ought to be celebrating. Sorry to interrupt you, Trixie, but I'm getting some late-breaking information regarding the monster. Well, what is it, Whitfocker? Apparently, the monster has changed direction and is now heading towards Midtown Manhattan. You know, the low-rent district. Midtown Manhattan. Wait, wait, that's where all the... That's where we are broadcasting from. 
Oh, fuck. That's right, wet fucker. I'm coming for you. Phrasing, but whatever. Here comes the monster. Phrasing! Damn it. Okay. I'm I'm really mature, and I'm very sorry. Midtown Manhattan. Whatever will we do here? Unlock your ultimate ability. Destroy the headquarters here. So look, it's another cultist here. This is the headquarters of Brain Hamper Media. They are the world's leading publisher of science, denialism, and conspiracy theories. Their goal is to manipulate us, misdirect, blame, and weaken our, facil our faculties in order to serve the interests of the few. It's the time to unleash the terror of your ultimate ability upon them. In order to unlock your ultimate ability, fill your terror gauge by causing death and destruction. Press and hold number pad 2 to unleash your ultimate ability. You ought to figure out how it works. There is value in figuring out something for yourself. We can't walk you through everything. Once unlock, you should be able to destroy the Brain Hamper Media Headquarters. Look! Buy more water. Look, we just punted that person here. Okay, gotta remember, how do I play this game? We punch a building. And go over here. Is this is this the entire headquarters? Sure, let's climb. Let's eat, let's climb. It's such a big building. Let's just get up here real quick. We're we're gonna we're gonna decorate it really nice like, and then we're gonna we're gonna jump down. Maybe. Butt stomp! And now let's let's unleash the power. Maybe. Oh I gotta actually fill the gauge. Ah! Well, fine. Let's eat Mr. Moneybags over there. And then more death, more eating, more noms. See, we're a cute green monster, so it's all it's all very nice here. All right, looks like we got it. More power. Press and hold number two. Oh, it's a giant shockwave. There we go. And the building is now not in a happy place. And boom! We destroyed enough of that. All right, if only that were that easy. We're doing the um, Chuck Palahniuk method of taking down the buildings. Race to 10 civilians eaten. Now this would be really nice as a multiplayer challenge. So, yum. See, that means we can't destroy the building. We're just, we're just chewing up. Um, apparently our monster needs a napkin. But yeah, Grandma, get over here. Um, whoever you are. And whoever you are. Another Grandma! Oh, look, other people just falling out of the buildings. I wasn't trying to shake them out the window. So, deturbulating simulation. Interesting. I don't know what that means. But there's a lot of dots. Here we are. Uh, we have arrived at the perfect place to test your destructive capability, uh, capabilities of your ultimate ability. New Jersey! Oh, this whole place can go. Nobody will miss anything here. Oh, and you see this portly fellow here? We have been feeding this acolyte a special diet jam packed with all the nutrients and vitamins you require. What you said is because I had an important role to play in our sacred duty. Yeah, that role is dinner. You will find portly acolytes along your journey. Eat them to fully restore your health and power. Please, no! Ah! Well... Here's some good news is that they didn't build you to run very fast. So, welcome to New Jersey. For those of you that don't know the area very well, um, the nice thing about New Jersey is that um, in recent years, New York City has decided we don't want all of our trash and destruction here anymore, our garbage, our smell. So we're going to ship all of our sewage and anything that pretty much smells over to Jersey. So this is a place that you can smell and smell really well. There's a lot of delicious portly acolytes here. Can I eat him? Okay, I, did I eat him before he landed? I don't know. Let's let's chomp down another one. Okay, that fills up our bar. That's good. Don't know if we got the chopper, but we got we got more destruction over here. There we go. There, now, we're, okay, we, we can ride the chopper if we catch it, right? Okay, so if we throw a person at the building, it doesn't do a lot, but let's Definitely one way to nuke a building. Okay, you're down. I shouldn't be punting the acolytes. That's true. Alright. 
Okay. Delicious. And let's... Let's do some boomies. There we go. Building down. I'm glad the building doesn't fall on me and hurt me. So that's... That's good. Once again, need to not be punting, punting my snacks. They were kind enough to leave me snacks. Okay. Once again, I don't know what they're thinking with the whole rope rescue thing. That does not seem like a smart move. Not that the humans are here because they're smart. Okay, can I... There we go. I just, I just punched somebody on a rope. That's fine. Okay. You're all gone. Hefty Mart. Okay, I can do this while on the building, too. That's nice. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, you're, you're dead. You're not dead, though. Get back here. Okay, building down. Come on. Just fall already. There we go. Don't exactly know what my plan was there, but it works. And we don't have to hold that the whole time. Oh, look, there's a car upside down. Let's fix it. Oh, whoops. Okay, so you're going to fall down. You're going to fall into here. Nope, you're going to fall the wrong way. Ah, that worked. Zoom out a little bit. It's always it's always good to see New Jersey this time of year. And obviously, we can't leave a job unfinished here. That would just be irresponsible. It's so what makes our country great is our drive to finish finish what we started. All right. Oh, happy day. So, a little more damage here. Got a got a few mil going on. Still not sure what deturbulating the simulation means, unless I'm doing too much damage. Oh, shit! A rocket launching gunship is approaching. This one has reinforced armor and can't be so easily destroyed. I don't know, maybe try to make it crash? Look out, it's coming right for us. Destroy the chopper. Okay, well, thanks. Okay, well that's a that's a start. We're just gonna have to punch it down just a little bit. Let's destroy some buildings though, even though this is probably technically a boss fight. And we just threw a car at it, so that's a plus. Get back here. I see you. I, this is this is like the 1998 Godzilla movie that people really didn't like. Um, imminent crash detect engaging recovery thrusters. Oh, what a what a cheater cheaterson. But it's like, hey, look, we have this uh, monster destroying New York City, and then the military comes in and does even more destruction to it. So... Funny how that works out. Okay, we're using our ultimate here. That might have been a waste. I probably want to put the car in it instead, but it's fine. Delicious people. Where's the chopper? There's our, there's our rotund human... Okay, that was a that was a direct hit. That's a little bit of a problem. Okay, need to need to focus on eating people. Okay, we're just we're just recovering health right now. And eating the people that are trying to shoot us, because that would be an embarrassing way to go. So we want to dodge the rockets, eat the people. And I guess we really need to either wait out the uh, recovery thrusters here or something else. Or throw a person at it? Throw another person at it? Can We, we still can't throw a car. We can shit a car at it. But yeah, once again, it's like, look, you are you are currently outscoring me. OK, 
Okay, so there's two rockets. And here's our first death. Now, granted, I do have more lives available. But I was worried about that. My reaction time as a monster is not very good here. But yeah, now we're now we're riding the chopper. Fuck, are we go We're going down, jettisoning payload! So, I guess we had to climb on the chopper and just punch it. Alright, well, we died. 60 years earlier, Polluticorp Research Facility, somewhere near Area 51. Blurp. Oh, good, it seems the humans just discovered that their industries are causing a rise in global temperature. Yeah, we knew that more than 60 years ago. Zogger says, excellent, that means they have got lots of time to transform their energy grid. Blurp says, the knowledge that their world is coming to an end will surely motivate the humans to act. Oops. What the fuck is that? It's some human's oily skin sheath. Wait, it's just the skin, no bones? Yep, I wonder who teleported this here. Hey dude, check me out. I'm a greasy monkey man. Let's devote a majority of our economic output to killing monkey men from different lands. Ha ha ha, that's totally something humans do. Silly monkeys, it's really the greatest con job of all the universe. They have been s convinced to trade a prosperous future living in harmony in exchange for weapons of war to kill each other. They can be exploring space together and experiencing the arts and cultures of alien civilizations like us. Ha ha ha, what a bunch of dumb people. Anyway, we will return in 60 years. By then, the humans will have averted the climate crisis. Will they have, though? So, Holy Lizard and I, welcome to the Immolation Festival. Science reveals to us that the global temperature is rising out of control thanks to the burning of fossil fuels. The global temperature will keep rising until the planet becomes a fireball. Nature has dictated that the punishment for burning fossil fuels is immolation. These ecological sinners here are guilty of such crime through their burning of fossil fuels. And they have doomed their future brothers and sisters to a fiery death. Thus, we condemn these people to a fiery death to purge them from their ecological sins. Once set ablaze, we need you to repeatedly kick them high into the air to serve as a warning to others. Try to kick a single acolyte in the air as many times as possible. <coughs> oh my god! Please, holy lizard, save the planet from us. Remember, press W when you kick. That will kick them upwards. We also set up these diesel power fans to help you keep them in target. Now, let the Immolation Festival begin! Oh my god, we're, we're, we're literally dowsing them. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm glad that's not water. And everybody's on fire. Bonus stage. How many can we kick up in the air? Oh, I didn't do I didn't do good. Uh, three consecutive kicks will help you do better at the next festival. Hey, hey, I, I was I was going for stuff. Oh, it's Tucson, not Tuscan. One week since the first attack. Do not destroy the city, only kill people. Good news! People are finally realizing true terror awaits them. The Church of the Holy Lizard has seen a 500% increase in new memberships. If we can get enough people to stop their sinful habits of environmental defilement, then we might be able to save the planet. We need you to take this section of the city to house our new recruits. Kill 250 people, but try not to destroy more than 25% of the town. Also, keep reinforcing your terror. Complete the following terrorizing task. Try to get a six-person combo kill with a single thrown person. Make two thrown persons collide midair with one another for a bloody spectacle. Now seize this neighborhood for us. Kick, 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 kick. Let's try throwing people. Kick. More kicks. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna get some of these bonuses, man. Oh, we got one! Nice. I got one! We just need to kill the people, right? Without destroying too much of the place here, so. Let us throw y'all out of the building here, right?
It just, it just sounds like a happy little arcade game here, right? There we go. I don't know what you call that combo, but we got it. One. Okay, I guess I guess we got the the sixer here, so you can just kill these kill these people. I don't know why we want to move to Arizona. It's it's hot here. It's it's already unbearably hot even before climate change, which is something that's. Um, I do get asked about again and again from my kids of like, well, why do people call it global warm? It's a, it's such a weird like mix because I was I was growing up obviously like most of you all because I see the demographics who watch these videos. We grew up in an era where it was all called global warming, so you'd have the people going like, if it's global warming, how am I holding this ice? And the answer is that you're a dumb shit, and I hope a giant monster decides to eat you first. So what a what a happy little game this is. Look, everyone just keeps... I know if a giant monster was coming, I wouldn't be rushing to the windows to be like, Hey, everybody, I'm here! Oh, look, we're we're next to guns, 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 too. So that's nice. Alright. Meanwhile, at Cash Grabber Studios. CEO Bucky Clutcher. Once again, very on the nose. We really got to cash in on this Hemersaurus craze. All right, Lauren, pitch us your game idea. Hey, look, it's the creator of the game. Lauren, how about a game with highly inten high intensity arcade action and satisfying physics based gameplay featuring a funny linear story mode? Uh, well, I'm not so sure about that one. People want replay value or at least the illusion of it, says Cash Grabber Employee. There is simply no way to program an addiction loop in a linear story mode. You need to understand, nowadays, we are chiefly competing for people's time, so we want to waste as much of it as possible. Yep, the storefront's visibility algorithm will reward us for making the game a total grind. Plus, people will think they are getting more game for their money. So we are thinking something more along the lines of a mobile game cash grab with an incredibly watered-down gameplay. You know, something morons can play while drunk at one of those combination sports bar and arcade deals. Yeah, go make us that! Okay, I, th that sounds like just biographical shit, but it's, it's okay. Destroy eight blimps. Thank you for helping us set up a larger base of operations for the Church of the Holy Lizard. Unfortunately, the unbelievers are starting to resist the progress towards the sacred duty. Our communication systems are down. We think they're being disrupted. Those blimps hovering over us must be jamming our communications. So let's destroy at least eight blimps so we can broadcasting our message. All right. What happens if we throw you at a blimp? Oh, well. Get over here. Okay, so apparently, this is going to be shocking to some some of you, but people do not destroy blimps. Who knew? So we still got to focus on destroying things here. We've just got to destroy blimps too. See if my ultimate does anything to the blimp. Probably not too much. So we need to get the high ground on these blimps. Or we need to attack the cockpit. There we go. Oh, good. We're still put. We're still putting helium in our blimps. Like we didn't learn anything about that before. Okay, blimp crash. Blimp almost crash. Can we just punch a hole in you, please? Pretty please. Okay, there we go. There we go. Who knew that kicking a car into a blimp was uh, the most efficient way to destroy a blimp? Somebody probably did. Whoever likes writing like guides for games can just tell me the obvious here, so that's fine. What I want to know is, does the can I climb these blimp skeletons? Yes, I can. Okay, cool. Also, gotta give a shout out again. The soundtrack in this game just fits so well. It's where, once again, music direction is something that you never, never want to underestimate here. So, yeah, it's a. It's just a. This game is just a joy all around, which is why I, I thought, you know, this. The way the game club is, is just something where. And this is my original thinking on it, is that it's not always gonna be selected the same way. 
Sometimes it's just going to be something that's like, hey, if we get this now, it's on sale and it's good. I'm going to pick something. Other times it's going to be like the Mech Warrior game from, from before, a Battletech game from before, where there were some issues with it, and some of that included issues with my schedule that I'm going to uh, get back. I do I do want to play it some more on stream. But yeah, one of, one of my goals here is just to be like, you know, if there's something fun and interesting, it's, it's nice to play it with friends. Plus, um, there's also the possibility of doing this co-op want to see how that works with steam so we're going to stand on here and we're going to see if we can tear apart some blimpies maybe okay that didn't do that didn't do a lot to the blimps that's too bad let's get up here we have almost all of our damage but we got we got to do just a little more if we're going to end this episode if we're going to end this video here for asher game club we got to end it with some uh death and destruction so yeah, maybe maybe don't send all the blimps. I still don't get why you guys are on a rope. But yeah, we're um we've got guns, we've got pizza. Okay, can we blow somebody else up? That'd be nice. All right, so exit stage. We actually didn't get that blimp. Interesting. Okay, get back here, blimpy. Okay, did I just eat the blimp pilot in the air? Okay, one more one more explosion for good measure. There we go. We've destroyed most of the town. Okay. 98.5. That's an A. There we go. So that's Terror of the Hemosaurus. It's fun. It's poignant. It cost a hundred million dollars. It does not cost a hundred million dollars, but during the release window, it is on sale on Steam. So this is Asher with Asher Game Club. Feel free to join on the Discord, and uh, if you want some more details about acquiring the game, by all means, take a look there. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We will do this again soon. Very interesting fade to black. Wasn't going for that, but it's cool. You all take care.